Students graduating from Utah Tech University lined up outside at the encampment mall under their respective colleges, looking forward to what's coming next. I'll be continuing playing basketball this next year and pursuing my master's degree in athletic administration. And then hopefully after that, I'll be getting a coaching job in collegiate basketball or in athletic administration. These graduating students are among the first to receive their degrees under the Utah Tech name. It's the 112th commencement of this institution, but it's the first as Utah Tech University. As you can see from all around campus, we have a lot of students here. This is probably our largest graduating class ever. They tell me that anywhere between 1,200 and 1,300 students are marching today. Uh, last year we had 900, so that tells you how many more students that we have. I'm so grateful to be a part of this legacy of Utah Tech, the first class of Utah Tech University. It's pretty cool to be a part of. And we have about 972 in the College of Humanities and Social Sciences, so it's a pretty big, pretty big event. Among those receiving degrees are those with exercise science majors. These students took a group picture to preserve the memories of the past four years in college together and now they'll move apart with different plans. Oh, life really has taken its course here. Yeah, I can go to Vegas, I can go to Salt Lake, I can go to Reno, so I got options. <laughs> I'm staying here for another year of basketball. Um, I'm applying to physical therapy school. And the university is also producing some firsts in athletic abilities as well. I'm Darius Nash, you know, aka the general. And mm, Darius, something like. I thought you, I uh, heard you got a, uh, you're going somewhere to play football. Oh yeah, we're going to the New Orleans Saints. Yes, sir. Who that? You know, so NFL bound, coming soon. Fresh out of Utah Tech. So we have close to 3,000 individuals that are getting a, a degree from Utah Tech University today. We have about six, over 60% are female, over 30% are male. We have 42 states that are, um, that are covered in 19 different countries. We have a number of new master's degrees. I think athletic training uh, is a new master's this year, but we have more, I, th I believe we have about 48 master degrees that are gonna be conferred today, which is a record for our institution. As they prepared for their final walk, professors were also preparing to say goodbye to the students they have academically nurtured over the past four years. I'm a tutor one who tried to help me with tutors. You believed in me. You helped me learn computers. Oh, yes, I did. Wearing new colorful robes this year, President Williams could also be seen with a new medallion and chain hanging from his neck. Our colors have always been red, blue, and white, and uh, this year they wanted to really highlight our colors. Uh, they're different than any other school uh, in the state. Nobody has red and blue like we do. Uh, this new uh, medallion holder, we wanted it to be special, so on the medallion there's the name of every president, and above their name if they had a significant accomplishment like the Holland Building, you can see Stephen Nadal, who was the 17th president at uh, Dixie State University at the time, he was really responsible for the clock tower and for uh, the Holland Building, and so there is a small medallion above his name that has a uh, depiction of the Holland Building. As the students began their procession towards the Greater Zion Stadium, they were greeted and high-fived by professors and upperclassmen. The student body president is not only happy to graduate, but is looking forward to starting a new life with his new wife. Well, the biggest thing, obviously, is the wedding tomorrow, getting married. So getting married, and then we'll have a reception here on campus at the Fountain. So just a great way to cap off the biggest experience of our lives. You know, finish it strong right where it started. Um, and then after that, as far as career, just plan on being an entrepreneur and getting into business ownership and start my own things and seeing where life takes me. As they strolled towards their final destination on campus, many of the students gave Brooks the Bison a final slap for good luck. While some students will stay here, others will be going to places far away. What are you looking forward to the most now that you're going to be graduated? Moving to a new city. Yeah? For sure. yeah. Where are you going? Chicago. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah that's uh, definitely a ways away. Yeah. And it might not be as warm either. Oh, I know. <laughs> that's what I'm worried about. And yet others just can't seem to get enough of Utah Tech. I mean, I'm sticking around. I am going to be getting my master's degree in the fall, so I will still be here in all of your videos, hopefully. And you can't get rid of me. I love Utah Tech, and I want to keep being here. The time for the graduation event was also changed this year due to the weather. This is the first time that the commencement was held in the evening. And according to the turnout, this may be why the stands were full this year. 
Those who came were excited for their children, grandchildren, and others for their achievements. That's a giant face you have there. Who's graduating? Amanda Alleman. All right. Congratulations to her. Is that your daughter? No, she's my niece. All right. We're for Jennifer Chamberlain, our daughter, Jennifer Bramwell Chamberlain. She graduated in technical writing. She has a bachelor's degree in English and a master's degree in technical writing from Utah Technical University. I'm excited for Utah Tech and its future. I've watched a lot of growth in the last 10 years. As I drove to this graduation tonight, I was impressed with the changes over the last 10 years. Not only is the city of St. George and Washington County grown, but Utah Tech has grown. What a great institution, what a great future. Our students show a lot of grit, and we hope that they'll come back often. We hope that they'll get engaged as alumni. I'm really excited at future alumni parties to be able to come and learn and, and see what they've done with all the skills that they acquired at Utah Tech University. <laughs> What was that? <laughs> that was an air horn. Can I stop games and you'll know? <laughs> From Utah Tech University, Melissa Anderson Community Education News.